So here we're doing the domain of a rational function interval notation. So for each one, I'm going to give the domain an interval notation. Well, the one thing we know about domains of fractions, rational functions, is that the denominator cannot equal zero. So for f, this denominator, x squared minus 25, cannot equal 0, which means if I factor this, this expression cannot equal 0. And if I set each factor not equal to 0, then I can say x cannot equal 5, and x cannot equal negative 5. So how does that look as far as an interval? Here's negative 5, here's 5, and I'm saying x cannot equal those values. So essentially what you have is a hole here and a hole there, but everything else works. So everything in between is good, and everything bigger than 5 is good. It's just 5 and negative 5 that are bad, okay, where you don't have a y value. Because when you plug in negative 5 here, you don't get a y value back out, you get undefined, right? And the same with positive five and negative five. So how do I write this in interval notation? Well, this section here will be written as negative infinity to negative five, and since I cannot equal negative five, it'll be a parenthesis. The middle section will be negative five to five, again, not equal, so parentheses. And then the last section would be five to infinity. And so this is the interval notation for the domain of f, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing for the domain of g. So if I take that denominator and say that it cannot equal zero, and I factor it, I get that x cannot equal negative nine and x cannot equal seven. So these guys, so I'm going to have negative infinity to negative 9 because negative 9 is to the left of negative 7 on a number line, and negative 9 to 7, and then from 7 to infinity, and that's the domain of G. Now let's look at H. So we say that this denominator cannot equal 0, so I get x minus 6, x plus 6 cannot equal 0. So x cannot equal 6 and x cannot equal negative 6. But on a number line, the negative 6 comes first and then the positive 6, right? Negative 6 is over here and then positive 6 is over here. So when I write my interval, it's going to be negative infinity to negative 6 because that will be the first number I run into on the number line. Then from negative 6 to 6 and then from positive 6 to positive infinity. Now for the last one, k, I'm going to say that that denominator, oops, cannot equal 0, so I get x minus 8 and x minus 8, so I get x cannot equal 8 and then x cannot equal 8 again. So here there's only one hole and it's at 8, which means my domain will be negative infinity to 8 and then from 8 to positive infinity because there's only one x value that I have to remove from the interval negative infinity to infinity. So I just wanted you to see what happens if the factors are the same and you get the same number. You don't have three pieces anymore. Your number line is here, here's eight, got a hole left and right. There's only two sections for that interval.